Hi kids, welcome back to my channel Simplified Learning with Dimple Malik. This video is in a continuation series of class 7 chapter 1 integers. Today we are going to do commutative property and how is it going to behave in the various operations on integers. So let's check for addition. What is my commutative property? If you have doubt, I have a detailed video of class 6 explaining the same. I'm going to put a video description link in my uh, description box and also on the top right corner of the video it must be flashing right now so you can check that so commutative property says in the case of addition that a plus b should be equal to b plus a that is whenever you have two numbers and they are in addition and if you switch their position the answer should be same so let's check what happens in the case of integers I have minus 5 sorry I have plus 5 and minus 7 now let's add and get the answer it comes to be minus 2 and if I switch the places that is minus 7 plus 5 the answer still remains minus 2 again if you have doubts in addition of integers you can check the previous video you'll also find a link in the description box so minus 2 and minus 2 so the answer is same for both let's check for one more question to validate that it happens every time minus 15 plus minus 3 gives me an answer minus 18 now if I have to switch the positions it will be minus 3 plus minus 15 again the answer comes out to be minus 18 that means the commutative property stands true for addition of integers now let's look at subtraction this says that a minus b should be equal to b minus a now let's take an example to validate 4 minus 6 gives me an answer minus 2 and if I switch their positions minus 6 plus 4 this gives me an answer okay 4 minus 6 is minus 2 I'm not only going to switch so if I switch their position it becomes 6 minus 4 so this comes out to be 2 again I see that minus 2 and 2 are not same so this does not apply here okay these are not commutative subtraction for integers is not commutative according to my first example let's look at the second example it says minus 5 minus 8 this gives me an answer minus 5 plus 8 further minus 5 plus 8 gives me an answer 3 now if I have to let's switch their positions what what is it going to be this become minus 8 minus minus 5 right I simply change minus 8 and minus 5 I switch their position the sign remains in the center so minus 8 minus minus plus 5 but the answer here becomes minus 3 here it is 3 here it is minus 3 so they are not same so therefore what did I observe in the case of commutative property for subtraction of integers is that the answer does not turn out to be same a minus b is not equal to b minus a therefore commutative property does not stand true in the case of subtraction let's move further so for this we have to check for the multiplication that whenever we multiply two numbers switch their position the answer is same so let's check the first example 10 into minus 9 so 10 into minus 9 gives me a minus 90 and if I switch it and make it minus 9 into 10 it will again give me an answer minus 90 therefore this stands true for multiplication let's take another question minus 15 into minus 3 so minus 15 into 3 15 into 3 gives me a 45 since both the like signs answer remains positive so if I switch their positions minus 3 into 15 so answer becomes 45 and again it is a positive so for multiplication the commutative property stands true because a into b gives me the same answer as b into a let's look 
quickly at division. Division says that if I do a divided by b, it should be equals to b divided by a. Now let's check. If I have 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. But if I have 2 divided by 6, the answer is 1 by 3. I clearly see that these answers are not matching. If I have minus 15 divided by 3, the answer is minus 5. And if I have 3 divided by minus 15, the answer is minus 1 by 5. Again, these are not matching. So, what is the conclusion in the end? That the commutative property does not stand true for since these are not equal the commutative property does not stand true for division so let's quickly have a look that commutative property stands true in addition does not stand true in subtraction stands true in multiplication does not stand true in division so kids this is it for this video if you are liking my content don't forget to like my videos share it with your friends and do leave a comment in the comment box it really motivates me that you're liking it and i am motivated to put more videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it right now and do press the icon bell bell icon for notifications till then bye bye